Caillois was a French philosopher who explored ideas about pretty much everything, but we are mainly interested in his thoughts about games. The thing for teachers to take away from Caillois's theories is that all games fall into a small number of mechanical categories. Caillois would say that there are only four basic actions in all the games in the world. In his work on play, Caillois identifies four fundamental game types. Agon, or conflict, Alea, or chance, mimicry, and Ilinx, or disorientation. As with Bartle's gamer personas, it is best not to think of these categories as rigid and definite game types. We will find it much more useful to think of them as types of action that we can use in our design process. Individual students will usually prefer one or more of the game types. When designing a framework for gamification, include all of them if possible. This will make it easier to engage all of your students. Let's look at some examples of games that fall squarely into Keiwa's types. Examples of Agon would be chess or wrestling. Players are in direct competition with each other, and the goal is to eliminate the other. This type of game is sometimes described as zero-sum, because one player has to lose for the other to win. Alea describes games of chance, like craps or slot machines. We could include games that have a strong element of chance, but also rely on outthinking the opponent, such as poker and rock-paper-scissors. Mimicry games are basically simulations. Role-playing games and historical reenactments fall into this category. As technology has improved over the last couple of decades, driving games and flight simulators have become popular gaming genres as well. Ilinx is the most abstract of the game types. Disorientation as entertainment begins with small children spinning around until they fall down. Older children enjoy roller coasters and other amusement park rides. Even high-speed driving and flight simulators probably owe some of their appeal to the nervous stimulation of quick changes in movement. After a fashion, Ilinx is used in storytelling by introducing a plot twist. Using these elements in a gamified environment means designing for some degree of competition, that is, teams or challenges between students. Introducing an element of change, for example, allowing students to spin a wheel or roll dice for a reward, creating a narrative and avatars for the students. The element of Ilinx is the most difficult to include in a classroom environment for the simple reason that it involves physical motion. The classic example of Ilinx is the small child spinning in a circle, but since disorientation causes imbalance, caution is necessary. Students could fall over and injure themselves in an Ilinx-based activity. To finish, let's look at one scenario that unites all of these game types. A student demonstrates mastery of an objective or concept. The teacher lets the student roll a die. The student must turn around in a circle as many times as the number she rolled, then toss three bean bags into a bucket. Each successful toss gives 100 experience points for the student to use in upgrading her avatar, which is then displayed on a leaderboard against those of the other students.